now. I'm so worried. Mother, people are running. Ziff, I will not tell you again to get away from the window. No, no. Something's happened. I'm trying to hear what the people are calling out. It's the Romans. They've broken through the walls. What will we do now? Oh, where is your father? What if he doesn't come? Oh, Jehovah, protect him. Do you see him, Ziff? Do you see him? Oh, Jehovah, God of tender mercies, help us, please. Do you see him, Ziff? Is he coming? Yes, I see him. Rachel, I bring news. Where have you been? I told you, with the congregation elders, the latest news. You've been gone for more than an hour. I thought you had been taken captive or killed. The Romans are coming. They will soon be here. Rachel, I've been trying to tell you. The Romans are not coming. They've not entered the city. In fact, I have been sick with worry. Come now, Rachel. I am here, and I won't leave your side again. Now, let me tell you what's happening. The Romans are leaving. Leaving? I know. It seems incredible. They undermined the temple wall only yesterday. The city was theirs, but now they're pulling away. Jehovah's hand is in this. Do you realize what this means? Father, they don't want to toward the gate. They have swords and bows. When the congregation elders first met today, we talked and prayed about how we could obey the command of Jesus to leave Jerusalem. You can't simply walk out of the city under siege. The Romans would like that. As we were talking about this, the son of Joel came rushing into the room and told us that the Romans were withdrawing. This is it. This is our opportunity. We must leave today, before night falls. What about my brother, Moriah? Did you see him? No, but I spoke with Nate. He's preparing to load a wagon. He wants to take as much as he can. Oh, Shebu, if only we had a wagon. Father, will all the brothers leave? Yes, sir. The elders are alerting everyone. What of the older ones? Arrangements have been made. Ethan will leave with us. Good. I love Ethan. Where is he now? He has come, Ziff. During the past few days, he went to the homes of all the brothers. He read to them from his scrolls, reassuring them. He is such a dear man. Come, we must move quickly. Rachel, have you heard? Mariah, we know that the Romans are retreating. They are retreating and we are going after them. They will pay a heavy price for attacking God's holy city. Father, do you think the angel of Jehovah will strike them down as one of them did the Assyrians? No need, Sim. That's a job that we can handle. We're leaving. <laughs> leaving? Why? Where are you going? Don't you remember what Mother told us when we were children? Jesus said, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, flee to the mountains. A great tribulation is coming upon this city. Many will fall by the sword. What swords? Whose swords? The Romans are retreating. Our people are preparing to give chase. This is a great day. Let no one tell you otherwise. Men will remember this day as a tribute to the Jewish nation. It's a day of deliverance. Mariah, it's not Jerusalem that Jehovah delivers today. It's his people. His people? You think that means you? You Christians? What about me? Your brother? Am I no one in God's eyes? Do I keep the Sabbath for nothing? Do I not pray in the temple? Am I not a man of God as well? Please, Mariah, not today, not now. You will bring my sister to ruin. Just come with us, Mariah. It means life. Where do you intend to go? To the north, to Pella. Have you gone mad? That's a Gentile city. This is absolute folly. Stay behind these heavy walls. Here there is security. Here there's danger. Outside these walls, there are ravenous men who will swallow you down like hungry lions. The roads are not safe. You must come with us. Who do you know in Pella? What provisions do you have? Winter is coming. Don't you see? Mariah, where are you? The man waits for you. I have to go. I beg of you, do not leave me. I have neither wife nor child, only my sister. You will break my heart. Show us some pity. She is all I have. Shebu, I fear I cannot go. Oh, Rachel. At a time like this, you allow your faith to falter? I can't help it. 
These past few days have turned me into a